Thank you, uh, Chairman Levin. Uh, Dr. Groen, I'll begin with you. Uh, thank you for your testimony regarding the progress the interagency working group on food insecurity has made over the last few years. Can you please discuss VA's relationship with the Department of Defense as it relates to food insecurity? Thank you, Chairman Takano, for that question. Yes, we have been actively involved with the Joining Forces uh, work group through the First Lady, specifically working on um, food insecurity, sharing with the DOD what we have done in the VA, how we've done our screenings, as well as how we've implemented a variety of different practices. So we have also made sure that there's information on food insecurity and nutrition in um, when you transition. So through the TAP program, when um, a transitioning soldier goes through the program, they're provided an enormous <coughs> amount of information. Within that packet is information specifically on food insecurity, and the information also includes how you access SNAP. So it's not just VA services, it's how you can get services for if you're food insecure independent, if you choose to come to VHA for your health care or not. So it is part of the welcome pack and it's part of the transition through CAP. Well, so this, the transition is what really concerns me because I've been hearing some anecdotes from staff of reports, say, in Europe uh, of, of inadequate housing plans, for example, uh, that the DOD was not quite on top of that. And, um, and as a result, uh, we had people really housing insecure. And so, we'll, I mean, uh, so that's, that's what I'm trying to get at, this relationship with, between VA and DOD, uh, and especially during this transition when the two agencies, these two big departments, kind of share a very important responsibility. So, um, again, we, I can't speak to the issue that you brought up regarding the transition in the ports in Europe, but again, we, have, we do work with them regularly, and one of the things we did do was to ensure that there was information on food insecurity, because that was not there in the past, so that is a recent change and something that we are very happy about, well, as well as the SNAP piece, because that was important, because as we know, not all veterans may choose to come to VHA, but we wanted to make sure that they all were provided that information and knew how to contact us and how to access resources whether they use the VHA or not. Okay. The Defense, uh, thank you, thank you. Defense uh, Secretary Austin recently announced uh, the department is, quote, all in on food insecurity, end quote. Does DOD provide warm handoffs to VA for service members who are experiencing or at risk of food insecurity during their transition out of military service to civilian life? So thank you again for the question. We. Um, I'd have to take that for the record. It's not something I'm completely familiar with other than, as I had mentioned before, it is through the partnerships that we have, be it with DOD, USDA, that we meet on a regular basis and are regularly discussing and trying to develop different ways we can make these changes. But I'd have to take if there's a direct handoff by the record. Yeah, what I'm getting at is I, I'm, I'm a little bit doubtful that just providing them information about SNAP is enough, that somehow DOD needs to look at this problem seriously, uh, especially for the transitioning service members. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, and uh, how do we ferret out the, the, the service members that are both housing and secure, they don't really have a plan, they've not, the, the commander the, or the, uh, the, the commanding officer really has not, uh, I mean, they got a lot in their minds, but has not really drilled down onto this issue. Um, during VA solid start, uh, solid start calls uh, made in the period after a service member transitions, are veterans asked if they're experiencing food insecurity? Um, again, thank you for the question. I need to confirm if it's happening in all questions. I know that we were involved in that, um, but they, again, I'd have to take that for the record to make sure it's part of the solid start questions. Okay. I can't answer that at this time. Well, thank you. Well, it's, it's important for us to understand how, how just providing information in a transition packet uh, is really not getting at trying to ferret out mm -hmm. and to discover and figure out who, because I can imagine a lot of folks out of pride not necessarily considering themselves to be uh, food insecure. Um, and uh, anyway, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. 